Hello and welcome on our small YouTube channel from JB Toys. This video is all about a brand new Lego Avatar set. The smallest one, the 75571, containing, I think, uh, two minifigures. Yes, two minifigures, 560 parts, and it costs 45 euros. It's available, available from October the 1st. And uh, yeah, I have all these four sets now in hand and can uh, build them uh, to show you step by step. If you ever watched a video from us, you might know that we will always start with an unboxing followed by a speed build and then a detailed review of the set. I'm looking forward to this. It's um, very colorful and uh, interesting uh, build. Uh, new um, minifigures here, of course. And uh, yeah, if you want to purchase or buy this uh, set, you might... Uh, uh, use our link uh, for the online shop and um, yeah that's it for the moment uh, thanks for watching in advance and uh, let's start with the unboxing So here we go, this is the final set 75571, the Naitiri and Thanator versus AMP Suit Quaritch. And um, yeah, we do have two minifigures, 560 parts, a small scenery with glow-in-the-dark elements, then this uh, animal here, and a really fantastic mech. And I now want to start with the mech and the minifigure inside, which is the kernel of the movie. Colonel Miles Quaritch, and that's why the AMP suit got, got his name Quaritch. Um, it's a new minifigure with camouflage, but simplified camouflage for the Lego world. Um, a new 
had had print the Zane's hair in gray, and then we have a uh, have light nougat uh, arms and uh, and hands um, prints on on the legs and on the torso. It's a quite nice minifigure. And even better is the Mac, which is wonderful and gets a full rating of five of five possible JB stars. Um, no wrong colors inside. It's a fantastic build and very clever building techniques. We do have three printed elements inside and eight stickers, beginning with this uh, um, transparent cockpit here, and then on the arms, here on the back side, here on the back side, and then one more here and two here um, yeah it's a wonderful mech it can be it can rotate the arms and of course uh, the legs uh, everything you would expect from this mech can happen and can can be done then we have this giant weapon here which is quite nice as well cleverly done very simple but uh, clever and uh, yeah, a lot of new sand green parts. If you are interested in the new part list, you might uh, visit New Elementary, of course, where uh, most of these uh, sets um, get um, a detailed review for mostly for new parts and the usage for them. A nice window uh, cockpit screen we have here. And yeah, that's the mech. I think this is the Lord of the Ring Orc uh, weapon, which returns here, which would be wonderful as well. And yeah, the mech is or the AMP suit is uh, is a five of star a five uh, star thing. I think uh, in a standalone set it would be about twenty euro here. Uh, next one is the minifigure of Neytiri, and uh, to be honest, I don't like uh, this minifigure too much because of the large uh, legs where you can see that there are missing some knees, and um, yeah, these large uh, legs now are looking from my point of view quite weird especially when they are moving around like this the result is awkward i think but um, i don't have a better solution for it so yeah if you want to build a Neytiri or avatar in general i think lego did a did an okay job or, or a fantastic job i don't know um, what you think about it but um, yeah it's a new headpiece with ears and a nose. Then we have double-sided prints on the torso, the longer arms returning from Toy Story as well. And um, the, what is it, sand blue, I think? Or is it medium blue? I think it's sand blue, sand blue, long legs. And the return of this long bow here from elves, uh, from a Lord of the Rings, uh, the elves, which is quite nice. And then we have this, uh, riding animal here um, some new parts like this um, element which can be connected to the to the avatar and uh, of course this mold for the head is brand new and is working very good it's the only thing is i would complain about is that um, kids will have some problems to open and close uh, not to close but to open the mouth um, because it's very hard to open it to find a, a way and a and a hole to place your finger on. All the legs can be moved around, the six legs and the tail, of course. What I absolutely don't like is that you can see the red piece and the yellow piece here, which is um, completely unnecessary because it's a one by one Technic brick and here one by two plate could be replaced easily by a black or dark blue one. So this is definitely a minus or the other. Yeah, I don't like, the animal too much but it's uh, close to the to the movie so i cannot complain about the result here i don't like the minifigure too much but it's uh, the same as with the animal so this um this is my favorite part of the set and this is uh, yeah um still a good rendition of the of the um, a movie example but it's it's not perfect in my opinion last thing in the set is this little scenery where all the designers could put their spare parts in in different colors uh, we do have some glow in the dark elements these crowns and the the carrot uh, piece here unfortunately only these four elements are included 
I think it could have been way more, for example, these pieces here in Glow in the Dark and many more of the palm trees, etc. Uh, would be way better to um, rebuild the Avatar world. In general, this scenery is quite uh, nice and it's a lot of fun to build. Um, as well as with the mech and go that goes for the animal as well. You can connect it here and there to other avatar sets I will review in other sets so stay tuned to this channel right now and um, yeah that's all about the set. To summarize it it's a very good entry and worth the money of uh, 44 euros here for 560 parts especially for the uh, AMP suit you get here. Uh, which is my favorite part of the set um this one here uh, and uh, the weapon of course and the minifigure um i will rate this set three or five stars which is quite good um i don't like uh, the animal and uh, the the avatar minifigure in general but that's my personal view to the to the set and this one here is uh, too colorful for me without uh, and, and missing missing the glow in the dark elements this one here is definitely the highlight and yeah that's it three or five stars and uh, now it's up to you i think you uh, i hope you liked this video and um, let me think uh, let me know what you think about this set would be great uh, to get um, to get uh, feedback from your side and uh, stay tuned to this channel we will have many more reviews coming very soon for avatar harry potter a technique and a lot of more. Thanks for watching. Bye.